Good morning, YouTube. I am Mr. Lewis, and I am here in the library today with... Ashanti. Now, you all know Ashanti from the show, but today we're, we're actually here talking about the library. Now, you told me a little piece of information the other day. Do you remember what you told me about the library? I said that I have not checked out a book this year. It's sad. It's really not, Lewis. How many books did you check out in middle school? Honestly... No, like I used to read in middle school. I still read. Well, Lewis, listen, I checked out books. Okay, I actually did read. So okay. yeah, because we went we went to the library. But like now, it's like if you read, you do it because you want to. Correct. Now, when you were at the middle school, did you read like anything out of the one hundred to nine hundreds, or did you stick with the fiction section? I like fiction books. Fiction books. Okay. Yeah. Most students who read for pleasure simply read fiction okay it's more appealing but knowledge the thirst for knowledge is built into the non-fiction section of the library are you familiar with how the classification system in the library actually works no okay i'm glad that you said no because you would have been probably lying had you said yes because most people students and adults have no clue how the classification system works. Okay, what is it called? <laughs> Hold on, I didn't, there's a name, Lewis? There is, it's called the Dewey Decibel System. Are you familiar with that? Okay, you said the Dewey De Decibel System. No. Okay, so what happened was, originally, years and years and years and years ago, in the early 1800s, the few libraries that existed, you're looking bored, don't look bored. No, I'm not the bored. The few libraries that existed would arrange their books simply by size or color or something. There was no set way for libraries to be arranged, okay? Mm -hmm. Along comes Melville Dewey, and he decided to come up with a system in order to arrange the books in the library universally, okay? We call it the Dewey System today. You with me so far? Yep, got you. Now, the Dewey system runs from 1 to 999, and it's built with 10 massive classes, okay? Okay. So the 0 to 100 would be class 1, which is general knowledge, okay? okay. Wait, the, so you said it goes from 1 to 999, that's correct. and it's 10 classes. That's correct. Okay. So the 1 to 100s are going to be your general knowledge. That's going to be things like encyclopedias and stuff like that, okay? Oh, things God. that don't really go into the other classifications. Then you have the 100s, which are uh, psychology and philosophy. You have the 200s, which are religion and mythology. The 300s are your social science and folklore. The 400s are literature and grammar, so like languages. Mm -hmm. um, the 500s are going to be, look, I've done Lewis forgotten. does not know. I don't know. Math and science. 600s are your medicine and technologies. 700s are arts. Then you have the literature in the 800s and then your history stuff in the 900s. Okay, so those are your 10 main classifications and then the Dewey Decimal, the decimal points on those classifications actually subdivide each of those massive 10 areas. Does that basically make sense a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so that's how the Dewey Decibel System works. Now, in the libraries, you also have your fiction section, and most libraries have a biography section as well. So if you want to actually go and search for um, some stories, fiction is obviously what most students enjoy reading the most. And then you have a biography section which clearly, what are biographies? Stories about, about people's lives. Very, very nice. Yes. Now, explain to me if you're in the fiction section, which is not in the regular Dewey system. Oh my exactly God, how are you going to find a book? Um, how are they arranged? Authors' names. Very nice. So the fiction section is arranged by authors' names. Now, if you come into the library cold and you actually want to search a topic for a specific book. What do we call that piece of technology that you actually search with? A computer? Today, yes. But <laughs> it's originally called the card. 
whole the catalog. No, the I wasn't, card okay, catalog. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't okay. gonna get it. When I was in school a very, a long, very long time a ago. Very long time ago, we actually had a big stack of drawers and there were actual cards in the drawer. And it was a very tedious process to search, okay? Congratulations. Technology has evolved. Now we just come up to a computer and you type in whatever subject or whatever thing you want to find, right? Mm, right. And you click enter and it spits out all the information. It's beautiful. Okay. So if you want to find a book in the library, you need to start off with the card catalog. And when it gives you that Dewey number, then you'll know where to go find it. So if the number was 221.1, what section are you going to go to? It's not a trick question. The 200s, okay? Oh, oh, okay. So that would be religion and mythology. So now we have a basic understanding about the Dewey Decimal System. You with it? Sure. Wonderful. Yes, yes. Okay. So um, when this is the end of the year, so the libraries at this point closed down. But next year, will you be coming in to check out a book? Sure, Lewis. Oh, my God. Yes. Fantastic. Wonderful.